I would like to say a, um, uh, uh, a few words about uh, ETA. So thank you very much for, for coming. Uh, there have been a number of uh, media stories and speculation that uh, ETA intends to dissolve itself. Uh, but there has been no official confirmation or communication from ETA uh, until, until now. Uh, I can say that as of uh, 1400 uh, hours today, the 3rd of May, uh, ETA has uh, ceased to exist. This information has been today officially communicated to the governments of France and Spain. Uh, HD has received ETA's official uh, final declaration that it has disbanded from ETA for forever, accompanied by a letter to HD from ETA uh, explaining its decision. HD is sure that the declaration and the letter from ETA are official uh, and authentic. In its letter to HD, ETA states the following, quote, ETA has decided to end its 60 years of existence. The decision has been taken by the entire membership of the organization that has overwhelmingly supported this step proposed by the leadership. Nearly 3,000 militants participated in one way or another in the process, although only half of them had the right to vote as members of ETA. In the end, 93% of those participating supported the decision. As such, in a definitive step, ETA ceases to be a political actor, and this following the end of its armed activity in 2011 and its disarming in 2017. There should be no doubt whatsoever of the will of ETA to leave behind a cycle of armed confrontation and to promote a new political period in our country. I would now like to convey to you the main points of ETA's official declaration of dissolution in ETA's own words, a copy of which can be provided uh, to you, that was sent to HD in four original languages, uh, Basque, French, Spanish, and English. It is the last declaration that ETA will ever make. ETA, the Basque Socialist Revolutionary Organization for National Liberation, hereby informs the Basque people that, following the ratification by its members of the proposal to conclude this organization's historic cycle and function, its journey has ended today. As a consequence of this decision, ETA has completely dismantled all of its structures. ETA has put an end to all political activity. It will no longer express political positions, promote initiatives, or interact with other actors. Former members of ETA will continue the struggle for a reunited, independent, socialist Basque-speaking and non-patriarchal Basque country wherever they see fit with the sense of responsibility and honesty they have always demonstrated. ETA's final, unquote, uh, ETA's final declaration also states that from now on, the challenge will be, quote, to build agreements among those with differing viewpoints in order to overcome the consequences of the conflict and to address its root causes. A key part of this will be to bring into effect the right to decide in order to achieve recognition of our nationhood, unquote. ETA ends its declaration with the following words. Quote, we have made this our last decision in order to foster a new historical phase. ETA was born from the people, and now it dissolves back into the people, unquote. ETA's final declaration is signed and stamped by the organization and dated in the Basque country the 3rd of May, 2018, unquote. Uh, before... Uh, concluding, uh, I would just like to share with you, if I may, a couple of observations uh, of my own. Uh, first, 
I hope and uh, believe that this is the end uh, of a confrontation in which ETA uh, killed more than 850 people and wounded thousands of others. A bitter confrontation that also saw torture of some of those detained for allegedly supporting ETA and the killing of several suspected ETA members by mercenaries directed by some members of the state. All of this was deeply wounding and deeply polarizing. It is almost certain that a majority of the citizens felt the violence was unacceptable and unjustified. Second, it has been a long road uh, to get here. More than 15 years of effort to end the armed violence and to bring peace. In 2004, the Spanish government and ETA initiated talks facilitated by uh, HD that broke down in 2007. Work then began to renew steps towards peace. In 2011, ETA announced its decision to end armed attacks. In 2017, it handed over 3.5 tons of weapons, which would otherwise have found themselves their way onto the commercial or terrorist market. A few weeks ago, ETA made a statement recognizing the suffering it had caused. The last outstanding demand of the governments of France and Spain was that ETA should disband. That has happened today. Third, I would like to thank all those governments and organizations and individuals who devoted themselves to getting to this good result today. Firm government and re resolute, effective, and continuous police pressure played an essential role in convincing ETA to end violence and disband. There were also many bridge builders of great courage, and I would like to mention by name just four of them. Jesus Egigoren, the former Basque Social Socialist Party president, who was one of the first and most effective advocates of peace, and who paid a terrible price with the murder by ETA of many of those closest to him. Spanish President Jose Luis Zapatero, who initiated the peace efforts in 2004. The current president of the Basque country, Inigo Urkulu, who has promoted peace, truth, about torture and steps on prisoners. And finally, the Basque independence political leader, Arnaldo Otegi, who led the move to complete nonviolence and strongly advocated for an end to ETA's violence and for its dissolution. Fourth, a long work of reconciliation uh, now lies ahead. Uh, it will require recognition, respect, apology, and support to all the victims of violence, as well as a commitment to the truth and justice wherever that leads. Fifth, this is also the end of a long, difficult and silent journey for this organization, HD. And I would like to thank all of those who played uh, a part in that. Last, if you agree, I would like to conclude by inviting you to stand for a minute of silence to remember the victims of violence. 